Right, what I want to have a look at here is uh, branches in Git. Uh, just now, uh, Brian uh, asked me to take a look at, uh, uh, at a skin he's been building, B360, to asked me to take a look at a skin he's been building, and uh, the skin is the uh, uh, My Flagship uh, skin. Got it up here. Uh, his skin there. So he sent me the, the zip file, uh, and uh, what uh, the first thing that I did is create a new branch for it. So here I am in PHP Storm. Uh, we've got all of the uh, the reason I created a new branch for it is because I don't want to mess up uh, all of my development uh, uh, system by committing something that isn't uh, going to be permanent uh, to to the system that I built with. So the first thing I did is take the my current uh, uh, state of things. Uh, with nothing in the change logs, make sure all the changes are committed. There's no changes reading that uh, that should be committed, uh, and create a new branch. Uh, call it uh, whatever you want to call it, because we can throw it away later. Uh, development for my flagship. And what that does is creates you this bit down here changes to something else and you've got all of the state that you were just in uh, in uh, but you've got a, a fresh system it's uh, so you've got it's like a different channel uh, and then what I do is uh, grab my uh, file system here my flagship which is the the zip file he, he sent me open that one go, on, go to here go into uh, wherever that project was uh, for me that's jam room 5 Jammer uh, five, and uh, and move it over to here. So skins my flagship. Copy here. Extract that. Extract. So there we go. So I've got the my flagship there. Don't need that one anymore. Delete. So if you weren't using Git and you did this, uh, what you end up with is. Uh, there's the my flagship there is uh, the uh, the file copied and you've only got one copy of it and your entire directory structure has changed uh, to this uh, click to browse that all of these new files that one there add to version control system close and then we go yeah right click that and commit the changes. My function. Commit. Commit. So right. So now we have that uh, my flagship as as part of this version uh, of this development branch. But if I go back to that branch that I was just on before, oh, it's, can you see that? My flagship Michael development. Check out. It goes away. It's not there anymore. It disappears. Uh, and it's gone from the file system as well. So if I come back to my file system, hit refresh here, it's gone, disappeared. And that's what a branch is. Uh, it allows you to have uh, different states of structure uh, for the, for your file system. So if I go to uh, this branch here, uh, develop that's the one we just did, and check that out, it comes back again because it's different. And all, so do all of the files. And uh, I did uh, I did this earlier and uh, checked out this one. And, and check that one and this is the the changes that I've made so if I I can now take that one and compare them to this one right click I don't think you can see that I'll move this over so it's inside the video there development compare and you can see all of the changes that I've just done to that file uh, so I've got uh, two different commits here and I click on the differences panel differences between between those two says there aren't any, but there are. My flagship. Compare. No differences. Interesting. Ah, that's because it was, uh, I exported it. That wasn't the original one he sent me. So, uh, what you can do there is you can just compare everything. You can, you can develop on different branches and uh, uh, keep track of everything, and then if you want to, if you wanted to commit that to master, uh, you could merge it back in. But we don't want to to, to merge that one back into the uh, uh, to the master Jamroom repository because it's not our uh, our skin. Uh, but a great way to to be able to play with something, uh, test out the files, uh, change them, and then not have to um, go 
uh, and revert all of the files that you that you were using back to their original state. Uh, you can just uh, uh, you can just throw it away. If uh, like I don't need that one anymore, so I'll just get rid of that one. Delete that, and it's gone. Yep, delete it. Don't want it. Real quick, easy, light. Really, really useful. So that's uh, versioning, uh, that's branches and Git.